What's up guys? How are you doing? I hope you're great. So welcome to yet another amazing tutorial today where I'm going to cover how to install the OTB plugin in Quantum GIS. So today I'm going to show you how you can download and install this open source and free set of art plugin so that you can be able to do machine learning and other remote sensing tasks within your Quantum GIS software. So open up your Google Chrome and then type in OTB download. Yeah, and then search that. So when you search, you'll see a number of options. Yeah, as you can see, I've got me. I'll choose this official website and then I'll open it in a new tab. Yes, so when I open it in a new tab, you click there. As you can see, they offer your toolbox website. Yeah, so offer your toolbox is an open source project for the state of art remote sensing that includes the first image viewer apps callable from Bash, Python, QGIS, and the powerful C API. As you can see, the newest version is OTB 7.3.0. Yeah, so if you are not interested in this version, you can scroll down and then download the 7.20 version or the 8.0 version. Yeah, so if you need a specific version of the OTB, you can scroll down and download it. Yeah, so the next step is to click that download button. Once you click that download option, it will prompt you to download the appropriate software for your computer. So since mine is Windows 64 bit, I'll download that for the Windows 64. And I say start download. Yeah. So as you can see, I have already downloaded my version here. It's a compressed file. Yeah, so I'm going to proceed and extract it in the same folder. Yeah, and then extracting it may take some time. Yeah, so once I have extracted my file here, I can open it up to see its contents. As you can see, there are a number of files inside this one, this folder. So the next thing is to copy it and then paste it on local disk C. Yeah, then it may take some time. It is a big file, so you just have to give it time for it to complete. So after some time, as you can see, I've finished copying this file on local disk C. You see here it is the OTP 7.3.0 middle 64. Yeah, so I can now jump into my QGIS. So when you open your quantum GIS, you go to settings, options. Then options, you click options and then you select processing. So if it's already in general, you just have to change this cursor and then click to processing. And when you click to processing, you come to providers and then select OTB. You click OTB. So after clicking OTB, the first thing you do is to activate this. You tick here. And then after you come to OTB application folder, double click in that space and then use that select option. Click that select option and then click add. When you click add, you browse to the folder that you pasted on local disk C. Uh, you see that folder OTB 7.3.0. Yes, please. And then enter leave. Well, when you click leave, you click OTB, still, then select that application, yes, and then click select folder. 
Und den Klick. Okay. Yeah, that is done. So the next thing you also come here to OTB folder, click and then do the same thing you select, and then make sure this time around you select the the OTB this OTB folder. Yes, please, and then click select folder. Yeah, do you select that OTB folder and then click select folder. Yeah. And then you click OK. Once that is done, you will see a notification that shows that you have installed the OTB plugin. And actually, as you can see here, this plugin is now enabled. And then let me just search here OTB. And then you can see a number of algorithms that can be used using what? This plugin. So, for more tutorials on how to use this and to do more stuff, the segmentation, the machine learning, whatever, just watch out for my next tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. Yeah.